I serve a risen Savior, He's in the world today. I know that He is living, whatever men may say. I see His hand of mercy, I hear His voice of cheer. And just the time I need Him, He's always near. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along my fear away. Jesus lives today. He walks to me and talks to me along my fear away. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. All right, so we rejoice, rejoice, so Christian, lift up your voice and sing. All right, here we go. Rejoice, rejoice, O Christian, lift up your voice and sing. Eternal hallelujahs to Jesus Christ the King. The hope of all who seek Him, the help of all who find. God other is so loving, so good and kind. He lives, He lives, Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along last year away. good to see uh, each and every one of you that are here this morning and we just got through with camp we had a good number of boys and girls that went to camp and so uh, we're going to hear from them in just a moment but uh, right now I just want you to know that next Sunday we're going to have a fellowship uh, service it's going to be called fellowship Sunday we're going to fellowship around your deli sandwiches and your finger desserts and um, your chips, whatever you bring, uh, that's going to be right after the morning service. And we'll have an abbreviated uh, afternoon service, probably have you out of here before 1.30 on your way home. And that'll conclude our service for next Sunday. Just something a little different for the summer. So remember, uh, and I'll try my best to remind you when I send out uh, our, usually I try to send out a, a text reminding you but uh, just mark that down and then also we have summer camp coming up and that's going to be uh, on what was that the 11th and that starts at uh, 10 o'clock and goes to 4 30 I forget I don't have the bulletin up here but I don't know it is. anyway it's it's in the bulletin and that's coming up real soon and so uh, here's one right there it is right there right there in this Jim Dandy bulletin I made up joy kids and teen day camp August 11 2018 in the year of our Lord from 10 to 4 30 a.m. includes lunch Bible lessons games music crafts and a lots of party fun and so there you go and what more can I say Make your way up here. Don't be shy. Don't be bashful. Just come on up here. All the teens that want to camp, come on up here. All right. And so uh, we're going to start with. Uh, we'll start with the youngest. Who was the youngest? Logan. Logan? Yeah. Okay. So uh, just, just in a word, you don't have to. You don't have to say a whole lot. Just tell us 
what what a are, are we listening? I just want to hear what kind of a blessing you got from camp. All right. And so we're going to start with Hazel Easton's What a oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> what I learned from the church camp is uh, about all the new words that I learned from the Bible and our pastor that was preaching. He it, he really inspired me about um, reading the Bible more often and that just really hit me and now every day I'm going to read 10 verses each day. What I learned um, from camp was when Pastor Corey um, said about friendship is there's some friends that you have to like kick out of your life and there's some that you have to find and that's what I have to start doing is kick some of my bad friends out of my life so yeah. Wow. Well what I learned is Sometimes the food was good, but sometimes it wasn't. Like, dinner was mostly good, but yeah. But the preaching was good, um, mostly speaking about the friends, like the friends that you gotta make. The friends that I had this year weren't the like best encouraging. Like, he preached about you, you have the friends that like are encouraging you to strive more, to um, love Jesus more, and um, get the word of God out there more often. And that really spoke to me. And um, where God is calling you, cause like I am, uh, what like God called me as a preacher, but I never like I was like oh I'm going to um, a Golden State uh, College Baptist College, and really I haven't been really listening to God, what kind of Baptist College He wants me to, what He's calling me to, so that's what I learned. Amen. Yeah. 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 Well, I learned from uh, the. <laughs> The cap was that like if you have like hatred in your heart for at somebody that you must forgive them for what they did, and like I had and it inspired, it inspired me to forgive the people that I have uh, hatred that I have hated on for a long time. Well, if I was to talk about all the stuff I'd learn, I'd be here for about two three hours. So I'm just gonna just say everything. Uh, every, all the messages were great. I mean, every single one was just really convicting me. The really one that really got to me was the stronghold of pride. And, uh, you know, uh, God resisteth you if, you if you are proud. It says in uh, somewhere in James, God resisteth the proud. So just getting that uh, pride out of your life and just being humble before God. And that's what I learned about. The food was good. Um, <laughs> the games were good, and we got second place in our team. And um, all the messages were great. The pastor, like, I think he was like one of the best pastors that preached at the camp. And the message that really got to me was pride, and how you're not. Uh, if you have pride, you're gonna fall, and you're not gonna go all the way up and how it holds you down how it's a stronghold in your life and and then the other one was on having anger and not not tr gonna have trying to get rid of anger and not having it and just letting it all go and yeah that's what I learned Um, so, same for me from everything they've said, um, the pastor, the whole point of the whole entire week was he was talking about the bad strongholds in your life, like pride and bitterness and lust and like stuff like that, and then the right, the good pride or strongholds you should have, and so, um, my favorite message was the one about friendships and surrounding yourself with good people because you become who you hang around, so, yeah. <laughs> Um, to be honest, this camp here was really awesome with all those that came. Um, I really was thankful that Lawrence came, my friend. He said that he's coming next year if we could bring twice as many kids, so we'll Challenge see. Accepted. Challenge is accepted. Um, but uh, 
but the pastor Corey Mears, he uh, he preached one message uh, that really spoke to me, and it was the last message that he preached. He preached on uh, how Christians get discouraged. You know, like how they, you know, pretty much, you know, we call her the analogy of the God on the mountain, the same God is is the same God in the valley. And he pretty much preached how, you know, we get so encouraged here at camp and we're excited and. But, you know, when we get back, the devil's going to do all that he can to discourage you. And he does. Right. And um, and it really spoke to me because every year that I come back from camp, you, you do get discouraged. And uh, he pretty much he pretty much said things to be careful not to do. He said, first of all, when you're discouraged, you think bad things. You know, you think things that you shouldn't be doing. And then second of all, you start saying bad things that you shouldn't be saying. You, you start saying discouraging things. And then next of all, you start doing discouraging things that you shouldn't be doing. And he said, so how you how you stop that is you stop the, the discouragement of thinking. And if you could stop the thinking, you're going to stop that whole cycle. And so that really spoke to me because, you know, it's like it's been an ongoing thing like every year. But um, but yeah, so that that out of all really out of all those messages spoke to me. Yeah. And I hope we're paying attention. This, you know, this is this is the future of the church.